Hello, nail baby dolls. Once again, this is Rhonda McCarthy and welcome to the International Institute of Nail Technology. I am the Nail Mogul and today's video is a request. I'm going to do just some simple e-file work just to get those of you that are new to e-filing acclimated on how to use it. So this first bit, this is a football bit and it's a really big one, but this is used to take off product so that you can go ahead and um, do a fill-in or rebalance and switch out your design. This one is the same type of bit, it's just smaller. So I'm gonna use this big one. You actually, I could use this because this is simply chrome over the top of the acrylic. But I wanted to use this because I don't use it much. So the first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to take off my chrome that's on top of my acrylic. Under here, I have like an orange kind of acrylic. I don't have my e-file up that, that high because I'm not taking off like stones and Swarovski and that kind of thing. So all I'm gonna do is gonna go vertical from the cuticle to the free edge just to take this off. You don't really need to do horizontal. You can, there's nothing wrong with it, but generally if you're removing product, you can go, and I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. You can see, I'm gonna speed up my e-file just a little bit, and you can see how easily this comes off. So that's our first step in removing product. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm going to use my cone bit. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna take my, my e-file bit to clean out the cuticles. And you want to, you don't wanna do this. You don't wanna give yourself a low angle because you're actually impacting the acrylic. You want to angle not too severely, but you want to angle your bit and come right into that cuticle area and just scoop it around. Just come in the sides, scoop it around, scoop it around. If you notice, this white part, which represents the cuticle, is starting to go down. So just bring it around, bring it around, bring it around. And this is so that you can kind of clean out that cuticle area. If you notice the cuticle area, the white part is now a little bit lower and flatter. Now this should not hurt. It does not hurt if you use the right speed with your e-file and it should feel like sort of like a cuticle massage to your client. So that's that next step if you have a client coming back and you're doing a fill-in or you're revamping the design. So the next bit that I'm going to use, I'm going to use this tapered bit and what I'm going to use this for we're going to act like we're fast forwarding and we've completed the client service and applied the acrylic and now I'm going to go in and just refine the cuticle area of the acrylic to get it that nice smoothness around the acrylic I'm going to use this bit you can also use this bit this is a safety bit so it has a rounded top you'll only be able to get but so close this is designed so as not to cut the skin of the client. I'm going to use this one, however, because this edge is going to get in here nicely, real tight, to just refine the acrylic, the acrylic at the cuticle area. So this is a specialized step, and then we're gonna go in with this one, and we're gonna actually refine the shape of the acrylic. So you want to take your e-file, hold it like a pen. You're going to put your drill bit, your e-file bit down and just cascade it upwards. You do not want to ever put your e-file bit on the nail and hold it there. You want to constantly be moving so your motions should be sweeping like this. Up, up, around the top, around the top, around the top, and around the top. So if you notice, I'm refining that cuticle area where the acrylic is and shaping it out because I'm 
scooping, scooping, moving in a circular motion, moving in a circular motion, moving in a circular motion and coming down and coming down. So we're not gonna use this to do the bulk of our acrylic shaping. You can, but I'm going to switch out to another bit as I go in now and give the acrylic nail enhancement its basic shape. So now I'm using my ceramic bit and I'm actually going to start off by simply cascading just over this area of the nail. So the top part right up here is gonna correspond to the top part of the e-file. So when I'm up here on the top, I'm gonna lean the bit slightly and angle it so that the top part of the e-file is what's filing this top part. I'm not gonna go all the way to my sides, from side to side, because your e-file can bounce. It can jump up off of the nail. That's gonna be this move at the end. And then this. So the top part of the e-file bit is gonna do the acrylic up here. The middle part of the e-file bit right here is gonna shape in here. And when you get down to the bottom, the lower part of the e-file bit is gonna impact this bottom. It gives you a more uniform shape than doing this. And as you can see, if I were to angle it this way, it's going to probably put grooves in our acrylic. All right, so just this zone in here from each side of my fingernail. simply come down the side and what this does I'm not going to do this on this side because the top part of the bit is going to kind of um, hit the nail at an angle that's going to make a little divot or dent right in here I'm going to use the bottom part of the e-file bit on this side and I'm simply going to lean that upwards the bit so that the bottom part comes into contact with this space here. So I want you to take a look at the shape of the nail, the overall shape of the nail. What I can do is I can come under the bottom, then scoop around to get my edges nice and crisp. I can come under the bottom and then scoop around, under the bottom and then scoop around, under the bottom and scoop around to get a nice shape on the sides, under the bottom and scoop around, under the bottom and scoop around. I want you to see, under the bottom, scoop around, under the bottom, scoop around. That's just giving us a nicer shape in here. This part right here, if you look right here, it's giving a nice crisp shape, and I'm gonna come in because this part of the e-file is bumping up against the, what would be the real tip of the client's finger, and that little piece in there we're gonna straighten out. So I'm gonna come underneath the bottom, not in an angle like I was just going in. You wanna be um, parallel to the nail. Come in and go up. Come in and come around, come around onto the surface of the nail, and that's gonna shape out those sides. and you can get that shape going. Okay, shape is nice and tight. I'm gonna come up under the bottom and just scoop up under the bottom, angling the bit just a little bit, just a little bit. And now I'm gonna get my corners so that I have some nice shaping going on. Now, we're gonna finish this out with hand filing. So now I'm just gonna take my file and come in here. I'm gonna angle the file underneath like this, just to get that little piece, just that quick. 
the nail is nice and crisp in shape uh, and shaped <laughs> so I'm gonna take my file and I'm not doing this I'm not putting the file um, parallel to the nail I'm angling and coming under the bottom just a little bit to just get that side nice and crisp and then I'm gonna flip this way and I'm gonna shape or you can shape this way but with the trainer hand it can be difficult all right nail baby dolls so i'm finishing up this nail with first the 100 side of my foam buffing board and then the 180 side to bring out that nice shine and i'm gonna finish this up with some cuticle oil just to demonstrate how shiny this nail is even before i apply my gel top coat please let me know what you'd like to see for our next group nail tutorial thanks so much for watching